Hey guys, how you doing? It's Brad with atrepodcast.com, all things real estate. Really excited about my guest today. We've got the incredible Greg Fowler from Lion Bolt Media. Now, Lion Bolt Media was founded to help real estate professionals consistently generate high value clients by utilizing leading edge digital marketing. Now, shedding light on the, you know, on guiding real estate professionals from all stages of their careers to consistently generate high value clients by utilizing next level, scalable, automated systems to attract massive amounts of clients, all while saving time, increasing production, and dramatically growing their revenue. Now, while other digital marketing agencies provide services to all businesses in all industries, they focus specifically on real estate agents, and this gives them a huge competitive and advantage for clients and the results. Now, Greg Greg has had the privilege of learning from and teaching thousands of real estate agents all over the world. So he learns and he teaches, he's amazing. Now, whether it's one-on-one meetings with the best and brightest in the industry, you know, industry-wide or live on stage educating the masses, Greg likes to focus on technology marketing, wealth building systems, tools, business practices, and you know, of course, the greatest name in the world, all things real estate. Greg, thanks so much for being here today. How are you? Brad, uh, I'm fantastic. An absolute honor, thrill, and a pleasure to be on your show. Uh, That intro was incredible. I'm sure you hear that all the time, but I couldn't have said that better myself. You (laughs) nailed that. That was was fantastic, Brad. Thank you. You've got a very interesting story. I'm excited to hear about you. And, uh, you know, I know I I said he, he founded, you know, Lion Bolt Media, but guys, he is also the incredible, the unbelievable, the most amazing, second amazing host of podcasts. I'll take Real Estate Titans. So you've got to make sure and listen to Greg on Real Estate Titans. Greg, let me ask you, you speak about a secret weapon that seven to eight figured real estate professionals all do. Mm -hmm. And you teach this in your mini course. So would you mind if I asked you a little bit about that? Absolutely, Brad. And I, it, once you get me going, it's hard to get me to stop. So interrupt anytime. This is your show. I just want to provide it's, value no, to your audience. So, uh, but at the end of the day, when you're looking at it from a real estate standpoint, understanding connecting in a meaningful way with buyers and sellers and the people that you affect in your community is crucial. So when I mention that, whether I'm on stage or one-on-one or through consulting or my clients, it, it really starts with the messaging. The, the branding itself um, and how you're crafting that. Now, a lot of times people are thinking, oh, it's a logo, it's colors, it's a pretty website. That's not what we're talking about at the end of the day. It's, it's something that's connecting in a meaningful way with the end user. So understanding who they are right. and what niches you're serving directly is, is crucially important. But then also speaking to the hearts and souls in their minds, really getting inside their heads and in their shoes to say, what are they going through? What emotions are they feeling through the buy and sell process? How do you serve them in in a higher standard of capacity? It's not about us. It's about them and their needs and ultimately showcasing our expertise and knowledge and essentially crafting that message is three parts, Brad. It's photos, video, and copywriting. And everything else formulates off of that. And so many people are focusing on the systems and the follow-up and the automations and the leverage points. But if you don't have a meaningful message that strikes a nerve, no one's going to listen. It's going to fall on deaf ears. So that's where we always start. So, so is, is that when you're talking about, and I'm just going to ask, throw a couple of things out. Uh, you talk about nerve striking content creation. Mm-hmm. So is that you're, you're, you're figuring out the copyright, the. Yeah. Oh, for sure. So when you talk about that nerve strike, uh, striking content very directly, it is, it, it's the copywriting, it's the photos, it's the videos, and everything needs to tell a story. Everything needs to evoke an emotion and really connect with that end user in a meaningful way. It can't be the same general or generic right. information that every real estate professional puts out because guess what? You get general and generic results. Right. So it, it really is that, has your brand, to- is that your brand awareness and Facebook ads? I noticed and Sorry to interrupt you, Greg. Oh, you're good. I noticed uh, you befriended me on Facebook, so I, I took mm-hmm. a gander at your stuff, and and I noticed that you have a well, you have a great family. Beautiful Thank kids. you. Um, Thank you but you much. also have a, a lot of really positive messaging that you put up, which mm-hmm. I love. I'm I've, if you look at my ATR podcast stuff, I'm constantly putting up quotes and things a couple times a week, and I love the fact that you do the same thing. But I think you take it a step further. You're even putting a graphic uh, image with your quote. Mm-hmm. And that didn't go unnoticed. Um, 
and it and and I asked myself when I looked at certain things, what kind of emotion is it invoking in me when I looked at your branding? And I noticed that each one is to invoke a different emotion. Hmm. Yeah. I don't know if you meant to do that. I think you did. I, there, there was a little thought behind it, Brad. I, I appreciate <laughs> the fact that you picked it up and, and, and went through there. And again, associating to your niche and your market, very specifically with Lion Bolt and myself, our message and our brand is geared towards professionals in real estate world and high performing individuals or people who are in the gear to get to the high performance level. So there's a lot of strict messaging that's associated a lot of motivation and push and mindset that is from lion bolts and my brand specific. But again, when I'm having the conversation with a real estate professional, they're speaking to the general population, right? Not necessarily high net worth individuals or high earners, but just everyday people in association with their sphere. So your message really needs to associate with who you're speaking to. That just happens to be my world, if that makes and sense. You know that world, you know the world. That's yeah. great. You know your real estate world. I try. I'm, <laughs> I'm learning every day. I don't know it all. I don't pretend to, but I learn from greater people, bring it back and, and do the best I can for sure. So as you can tell, I'm kind of going through your mini, your mini notes here. And yeah. talk to me about conversion funnels. Yeah. Sure. So ultimately, when you have a nerve striking brand, right, and you really understand your niche, your offer, your result, the people that you're speaking to, and you're connecting with them in a meaningful way, just like you would physically, right, because it takes time to build a reputation rapport and a brand in the physical world, you need to accelerate that in the digital space. So once you do, you have a lot of noise and traffic that's associated with who you are. So what do you do with that noise? What do you do with that traffic? You need to funnel it into a certain area to help conversion. Because ultimately, just to be celebritized, to be known by everybody, but not converting to closed transactions or revenue, to me is meaningless. I Doesn't look at the bottom. Good, line. Yeah. It, it doesn't. And it's like it's, it's like the being the most popular reality star ever, <laughs> and living in a trailer uh, with no food. Oh, Brad, I and love it. <laughs> what does it do for you? A beautiful analogy, and it, but you're so right. And I think the issue with a lot of people from my world into digital marketing, they say, "Oh gosh, Brad, look at all these video views. Look at all these impressions. Look at all this volume that you're getting." But at the end of the day, understanding real estate, it's about closed transactions. And furthermore, the closed transactions equate to serving the community. So it's not just about commission, right, or GCI. It's about helping more people. So being the best kept secret is not a good thing. It's a, I believe it's a Grant Cardone quote. Yeah. Um, it, it's not the best business that wins is the best known business. Yeah. So, yeah. so everybody's got to get that exposure, you, you but know, to answer your, answer your question, I don't mean to, to go in circles yeah, there yeah. for that. Um, about conversion funnels. Once you have that brand, you need to put it into a place that it can actually take your audience that you've cultivated and help squeeze that down to intent because that's crucial. Um, so does that kind of answer your question? You want me yeah, to dive no, deeper into that? Yeah, no, it definitely does. And what, what, you, what you're saying, and to my listeners out there, when he's speaking about uh, A, branding, and B, you can have the best brand in the world, but if you're doing nothing with it, it doesn't do you any good. And the best way I could tell you is I did a lot of uh, acting in the, in the 80s and 90s. And, and when I got into real estate, I missed my acting. So what I did was, is I started 30 second commercials that I were running, was running all over LA. Love it. And people would make fun of me be, uh, my, in real estate because I was called, my motto was call Brad, you'll be glad. Mm -hmm. And then I did commercials. It ran all over. Yep. And I'll never forget the amount of people that started calling me. And then one day I was in Arizona and I was with my dad and we were in line for a football game in Arizona. Mm -hmm. And this, these people said, excuse me, you're called Brad, you'll be glad. I said, yeah. And they said, here, cut in, cut in line with us, stand in line with us. I said, okay, great. I said, come on, dad. And I, I was, you know, I was young in my twenties and, and I looked at my dad and I go, dad, I go, advertising works. And I go, watch this. And I said to myself, we're in Arizona and they're seeing a regional commercial in Los Angeles. Why are they seeing my commercial? It only runs on the real estate channel. Wow. So I said, hey, can I ask you a question? I said, um, are you looking for a home? And they said, we actually are. That's how we know who you are. Hmm. And I sold them a house. Wow. So again, like exactly what you said, I could have chose to just say, thanks, but I asked a question, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, how did you find me? What are you looking for? Can I help you? Right. That's it. If you're going to advertise, if you're going to brand yourself, you have to do something with those leads. 
It's so true. And you, you had a beautiful example, Brad, in the physical world, right? And there's a certain level of notoriety and no disrespect to TV, radio, billboards, park benches, buses, yeah. uh, newspapers, magazines. There's a level of visibility that's there. And to be able to capitalize on that message, if somebody says, oh gosh, I, you seem so familiar at the line right. of the grocery store, right? Sparking a conversation and stimulating that conversation physically is crucial. It's the same thing online. If you're running digital ads, very right. similar into different formats, you need to take the conversation private and That's you need right. to take that conversation offline. And, and uh, But if you don't have that intention, if you don't have the systems to do that, to really spark those conversations, and if you don't have the follow-up on the back end, it's going to be very difficult to do it in a scaled manner. And you can only manner. do so much, Greg, right? You right. can lead a horse to water. But they've got to drink and they've got to, they've got to be <laughs> thirsty, right? Well said. I mean, well it's, said. It's, it's amazing. Greg, tell me about uh, tracking and retargeting. Is that kind of really what you were just, just we just yeah. touched on? Yeah, well, so it's a little different into that. So once, you're, once you have your message out there to the world, it's crucially important to whoever raised their hand is it's not a one and done sort of scenario. Physically, you got to understand that everybody out there who's in sales or in real estate you don't just have one conversation with a total stranger and it's a done deal. Sometimes it happens, sometimes it doesn't. But most of the time, it's multiple touches. You get to know, like, and trust each other. And then over periods of time, conversion can happen physically. It's the same thing online. So retargeting, crucially important for anybody. If you're running any kind of ads or building any kind of business, getting in front of the people, right places, right time with the right message, consistently omnipresent, right? Being everywhere that they are online, right? Physically and digitally is the name of the game multiple touch points. So Greg, can I interrupt you for one moment? Yeah, anything. So you said something, you said it really fast. And, and I think that it's an important, something really important that you said. I love it. So Greg said, it, and he did, he spoke very fast when he said this, because he was getting to a point, but he said, you got to get to know, like, and trust someone. Mm -hmm. Now, Getting to know, getting to like, and getting to trust us, someone are three major components in one thing. Mm -hmm. and that's building a relationship. And in order to be successful in real estate or in any type of sales profession, you need to build a relationship. So Greg, I'm sorry that I interrupted you, but I felt that it was important because you, you're you spitting out some pearls of wisdom and you don't even realize it because you know you were, you were getting you know, into your point. I love it, Brad. And please, hey, this is your show. I'm a guest on it. So you direct this any way you want to go. Uh, but I would agree the know, like, and trust is crucial. And that happens under any business, under any circumstance. It doesn't matter who you are, where you're from. And you can be the best at what you do. Once again, we, we mentioned that for the best business doesn't always win. It's the best known. But you could be the smartest, best real estate professional in the world. But if they don't get to know, like, and trust you, they're not going to refer you. They're not going to work right. with you. So, but building that brand and that reputation takes time physically. It's by touch points, actions speak louder than words. So you doing what you say you're going to do into a higher standard. But once again, your physical sphere is only so big and it doesn't matter how big or small it is. There's more people in the world who don't know us than do. So digital aspects of marketing are going to allow you to touch more people with a meaningful message and a brand, get to know, like, and trust you on a larger scale and be able to convert more closed transactions that way. And that's huge. all it is. It's just taking your physical digital in a bigger way. So guys, remember, a lot of you are new agents and you're struggling and you're saying to yourself, I want to quit because I, I've worked so hard and, and I haven't made it. But oftentimes you talk to a guy like Greg and you can just be one, one deal away from a good mood. You can be one step away or one tweak away, tweaking your systems. Like Greg says, he can have it and help you with everything. But if you don't have the ability to implement what he's doing or what you're doing, it's not going to work. Right. You have to figure out how to make things work and put a plan, plan in place. Mm -hmm. Now, Greg, I like to ask, really influential professionals like yourself. Sure. What's an average morning for you? What do you do? Gosh, it's uh, it's pretty regimented. And, and that's probably a broken record on your show that way. Uh, you know, it's it starts at the same time every day. I yeah. have, you know, levels of affirmation. I have my education, which is books, podcasts, exercise, nutrition. Uh, then it's time with my wife and my daughter in the morning. Uh, before they're awake, right? And then they wake up and then I get to spend time with them. And then it's off to the races. 
and it's nonstop back-to-back meetings, associated podcasts, speeches, yes. things along those lines. I and, love I um, love the fact that you said, and and to my my dedicated listeners will uh, you know understand this that uh, pretty much everyone, including myself, does say that they do the gym or or at least some sort of physical exercise every day as well as positive affirmations or meditation Uh Uh, i find that and i and you just back that up that if you don't if you're not able to do that kind of stuff for yourself Mm -hmm. you're really not any good to your family or your clients if you're just on you're going to burn out you need Mm -hmm. to have something for yourself as well and be able to to treat yourself to something good like your body, you know, working out or meditating or getting a massage or, or doing something to give you some enjoyment. I, I couldn't agree more with that, Brad. And, and a mentor of mine years and years ago told me this, and it just rang through forever in my mind is no one's going to exercise for you. No one's going to take care of your health for you. You know, so at the end of the day, if you're not healthy in some form or fashion, mentally and physically, spiritually, yeah. Uh, you know, and again, with your relationships, all the rest of it is just going to be built on a, on a slanted or, you know, s- sunken in foundation. Right. And uh, eventually it's going to fall apart in some, some way. So it's not being selfish. Ultimately taking care of yourself and your family is going to make you a better version of yourself for everybody involved in your right. life. So that's great, Greg. I, I appreciate those words. Um, let me, where do you see real estate headed? Gosh, you know, last year uh, into, so 2020, uh, and again, we spoke, this might be released in July timeframe, something along those lines, but last year, a lot of the professionals that I work with across the United States, they heavily doubled down on their presence and understanding, getting involved with the consumer and, and, and shifting the message from not necessarily a sales standpoint, but a nurture and care and, and there for you kind of supportive yeah. uh, messaging. Uh, there's, there was a lot of turmoil and thought process of people, what's happening with the, the market and what's going to happen with this pandemic and everything along those lines. I will tell you at least the sphere and the circle that I work with, they've all had the best years of their yes. career last year, highest numbers they've ever reached. Um, and you know, I work with a uh, hundred million billion dollar producers. So some of the highest producing real estate professionals in the world and all the way to brand new professionals. So I see it from all the way, different levels right. of uh, perspective and, and spectrums. And as you mentioned with Real Estate Titans, uh, we just shot episode 225. And, you know, I have conversations just like you, Brad, with incredible people all over the world who are true practitioners who are doing this every single day. And they've done this for decades and decades. So the general consensus was they doubled down on their business. They really honed in on the relationships tighter and tighter in their sphere. And they added systems that weren't there. They really looked at tightening their belt on certain things that they didn't look at before. And they reinvested it into things that were generating more money, exposure, and revenue. Same principles applies with, uh, you know, into 2021 as we are right now in May as we're shooting this. Uh, You know, it's just been nothing but the up and up. The inventory has always been an issue. It has been last year. It is this year. Again, I'm not a licensed realtor, uh, but I work with licensed realtors all over the world. So I get to hear the inside track all over the country very specific on what markets are doing. Um, I, I think that that's always been a challenge. And, uh, you know, people are looking at it to say, not throwing their hands up. They're saying, what do we need to do to reposition, to shift? That's exactly Business right. Pivot, all. pivot, pivot. Yep. Always that's it. It's been used all, all year last year and continue this year. So hopefully it's not a broken record for anybody. No, it's fine. That's why I asked you. Greg, let me ask you. Uh, on a personal note, what would yeah. you like your listeners and my listeners and really the world to know about Greg, what, what's your, what's your mission statement? What do you want them to know about you? Yeah, that's a great question, Brad. Uh, anytime that I have an opportunity to touch someone's life, it's very important to me. And, and I look at it from a very tactical side of business to start with because tightening up business, bringing in revenue, scalability and consistency in an inconsistent world, as, as real estate knows, the only thing in life that's consistent is inconsistency. That's correct. So I, I, I look at that and say, if I'm able to touch somebody to motivate them to push them to another level that they didn't think they could go to with their business, uh, from a technical standpoint, right, from digital marketing and advertising, and, and really change the trajectory of their life. And, and a lot of it is associated with that that level of balance, looking at the relationships, their family and their health and their religion. Um, all of it starts with the root 
cause, which is business growth and development. Um, so I don't know, I, Brad, I've always just wanted to, to affect as many people in a positive way as possible. I, I'm a giver. People that know me know that. And uh, just giving nice. of knowledge and value and, and helping as many people as I possibly can. And before we went live, just kind of talking about that is, uh, you know, providing a lot of value and, and helping people grow their lives and change, the right people will come back into your life. Nice. And, and that's kind of how I focus and go through and hasn't served me wrong yet. So yeah. knock on wood. Isn't that, isn't that great about our podcast? It's, it's, it's giving back to the world and we're able to touch people. And, and, you know, I feel selfish because as many people that tell me that I'm helping them, just hearing that from people warms my heart to such a degree and it gives me such a, a feeling uh, of joy um, that I feel like I'm not doing enough, you know? Mm -hmm. um, so for the listeners and for any real estate agents or anyone who could use your help, mm -hmm. what would they do? What's, what's their first, what happens if we call your office? Uh, what, what, is there an intake? Uh, yeah, great question, Brad. Thank you so much for, for asking that. I mean, anybody that wants to work with, with us and directly, we, we kind of want to look at it from the standpoint, the easiest place is to go to the website, lineboltmedia.com. And, um, you know, we do have our free mini course that's on there. I, I, I tell everybody to kind of go through that. It's, it's actually pretty intense. It's 55 minutes great. of really everything that you need to know to grow and scale your real estate business from the technical aspect. And right. again, this is learned over, gosh, 15 and a half years of really diving deep. Uh, and it's free. It doesn't cost you anything. And I think that starting there to really understand, looking at your business, what are you currently doing and scaling that, uh, that would be the uh, place. If something sticks out to you there, we do have a schedule link. So if you want to schedule a free consultation, that's great. great. We can talk for 30 minutes, evaluate your business, what's going on. If we're a fit, fantastic. If not, we're going to give huge guidance. Yeah, um, you that's know, wonderful I, that you do that. Yep, and that, that's the best way to do it. I mean, anybody can contact me directly and um, find me on social media, any platforms through. What do you uh, say, Greg? And, and we'll get back to, to, sure. how, to how to get a yeah. hold of you. But what do you say to the person that uh, really wants to call and they're saying, I, I need to call and they're intimidated by that? By, by that, what, how can you, well, what, if you can speak directly to somebody right now, what would you say to them? I, I say there's no need to be intimidated. And, and I would apologize right off the bat and say, I'm not meaning to intimidate anybody. I, we're all learning and growing every day. And, and I think that ultimately, if you're in a place of your business where there's plateau, where you haven't seen the growth, right. whether you're starting out or you're a seasoned pro, um, where are the gaps that we can fill to really accelerate? And it's not just about more close transactions. It's about the time that's associated with that. So I, I would just encourage everybody not to be intimidated. Uh, th there's no obligation. I'm not, I'm not the pushy person. No, and I, when I, I, when I meant intimidated, I didn't mean by you. I meant by oftentimes we get intimidated by ourselves. We can psych gotcha. ourselves out. So uh, I had nothing to do with you. It was more gotcha. like, guy, you're like, dude, I thought I was a nice guy. I was like, gosh, I didn't realize I was intimidating. Smiling, but, you know, doing yeah. <laughs> no, it wasn't about you at all. It, it was okay. really, um, I, I find when I'm speaking to newer agents, especially, mm -hmm. or agents uh, that are doing 15, 20, 30 million a year mm -hmm. and can't hit that next level, Right. And it's not for any other reason than they, they say to themselves, well, I'm, I'm happy with what I'm doing, or mm -hmm. I, if I could, I would, but I really don't know how to do it. So that's an intimidation in their gotcha. own mind. And gotcha. that's what I was saying. So I appreciate that you said it's, you take the intimidation out of the learning process and, and that's great. Yeah. Um, Greg, this is a good one. Okay. You ready? Yeah. Yeah. All right. So if you or Marty from Back to the Future. I love it. And you had to zip back hmm. and tell young Greg a couple of things. Hmm. What would you tell him? Gosh, I so one, one to maybe watch out for and one okay. to maybe do a little bit more of. So I love the question, Brad, first of all. And uh, I'm, a, I'm a Back to the Future nerd. So I know exactly what you're talking about with okay. Marty McFly and, and everything. There you go. Lines. Uh, so what I would tell my younger self right off the bat is, um, you know, life is that particular journey and the positives and the negatives that we go through make us who we are. So it, it's never to change a thought process or adjustment, like don't do this or invest right. in this. And 
Um, I, I think that experiences that we have in life forge who we are, but to have that conversation with myself, and I think so many people feel this way, and so many of my mentors and, and extremely well-to-do successful professionals that I work with on a daily basis feel this way in some form. I wish I started my entrepreneurial journey earlier. Yes. Um, I feel that there's, at least for my particular journey, uh, there's always that security blanket of you, you need to know more, you need to know more people, you need right. to have more money in the bank, you need to, all these different things need to be just right before you take that leap. Um, are, you are you still talking about business or marriage? <laughs> all of that, every right? decision, right? No, that's a good point, Brad. No, that was easy. Uh, I love my wife. She's incredible. We actually got I'm our 12, 12 year anniversary this year. So uh, yes. absolutely love her. How to many death, years? 12. Congratulations. Yeah. I'm yeah, on the team this year. Oh, I love it. I love it. It's it's a very special thing for sure. But no, I, I think that any decision, to your point though, any decision, if you're analytical that way, I think sometimes you can have the uh, paralysis of analysis sort of mentality. Oh, yeah. And great. I think that I would tell myself to not analyze as much and take those risks a little bit faster, a little bit sooner. Um, still calculated. Don't put yourself in an awkward position, but I think just doing things a little earlier, um, yeah. that's the only thing that I would have mentioned. However, I'll, I'll come back on it and say, making the decision to, you know, run your own business and, and provide more for others in your life, uh, everything happens in the right time. Because if I did it several years earlier, I, I wouldn't have known as much as I knew. I wouldn't have known all the people that I knew. And uh, so again, I, I think that you just understand that everything's a process. Yeah. And uh, you know, if you're if you have that in your mind to make a decision, to take a leap, to make a change personally, professionally, and it's not going away. If it's just a thought and it goes away, that's one thing. But if it's still in there and a burning desire, you got to take action on it. Don't don't wait. Life's too short. I think that's what I would kind of go yeah. for. Oh, that's a great great answer. Greg, let's talk a little bit about uh, Real Estate Titans. Tell me about yeah. your podcast. Tell us uh, what we can expect on your podcast. Sure. No, Brad, thank you so much. And uh, before we jumped on live, everybody, I, I would love to have Brad on Titans too. So we, we kind of talked about that uh, for sure. And, and uh, But Real Estate Titans is uh, essentially interviewing top real estate professionals from all over the world, gathering tools, tactics, systems, you know, uh, perspective and thought process from just some of the best and brightest minds. And, and it was started, gosh, we had a three-year anniversary in March. Congratulations. So, yeah. Amazing. Yeah. It's been, it's been a wild ride and uh, gosh, 225 live episodes. So a lot of podcasts as, as your viewers know, are pre-recorded. Uh, ours are live. I've had no, every I single see. episode live. So there's no edits, no retakes, no cuts. It adds a level of uh, uh, pressure for yes, everybody involved. Think? Yeah, so it's especially uh, for the guests who maybe their their microphone isn't working or they're you know you're <laughs> waving going. <laughs> hey, Brad, you know you being a, a podcaster and a host yourself, uh, there's so many things that can go wrong with technology. Amazing, yes. uh, I I don't want to say I've experienced everything, but I've experienced a lot of difficulties with live yeah. streams and technology and 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 internet connections and bad audio and yeah. lighting and. It is what it is. The show goes on. It, and, you know, it's all the content anyway. And, yeah. and you know, uh, what I love about what you're doing, Greg, and it's I've always been a big believer in it, is you're getting top producers to share what they do that makes them successful. And, mm -hmm. you know, I'll never forget, I had, um, I, there's always been an open door policy in my office with, with what I do. Mm -hmm. And anyone who comes in, I'll, I'll just tell them everything I do. I'll, I'll give it to them and say, here, take it. Mm -hmm. And I'll never forget one of my friends came up and she said, Brad, what are you doing? Why would you be giving out everything you're doing? And I said, I'm going to tell you, because most people won't go that extra step and do the things I'm doing. So I can true. tell them until, they're, until I'm blue in the face, but most of them just aren't going to do it. And the mm -hmm. ones that are, I want to have a hand in their success. Mm -hmm. I, it makes me happy and proud to know that I was a part of, of someone's success. Nothing in the world, you know, we, we do so many things, Greg, in life, but how many things can we really say, I'm proud of, I helped a person, I helped someone, you know, stand up, I helped someone's better their lives, hmm. you know? Yeah. 
So I love the fact that you do that. You do that whether you know it or not with your show. It's amazing. Well, thanks, Brad. I I, Listen uh, to Greg, real estate (laughs) titans, and he calls himself Titan Nation. Yeah, so you part of Titan Nation, you can you can listen to mine and his. It's amazing. I, I would I would love that. And again, I know that um, I can't wait to have you on Titans, Brad, and Thank and you. your audience can absorb that. And it's all about collaboration and nature. Yes. And there's so many wonderful perspectives and experiences from all walks of life that we can all share. And I know you do that as well. And such a gracious host that you are to to bring people on and. Um, it does make a difference and, and people are listening and you just don't know who you're going to touch. You just yeah. don't know who's going to have a message that says that was the right place and right time, the right person. And that's why I think diversity and variety and all different uh, you know, perspectives are crucial for everybody to learn and grow, um, us included, right? And that's why- I agree. I, I don't you love, I, I find that the podcasters that are actually doing what we're doing and, and putting out a show every week and mm-hmm. putting some thought into it, and really taking it seriously are so willing to help one another. Yep. You know, helping one another is such a key, you know, recipe to success just in life. But podcasters in general, I find have been great. Yeah. So, um, so we know we can find you at Real Estate Titans, and that would be on mm-hmm. every major podcast site, correct? Yeah, so we're we're live every Tuesday afternoon. So you anybody who wants to jump on, it's live streamed on Real Estate Titans Facebook page. Um, so you can go and watch us, just like Brad and I are right now. If you like the video portion, but if you're more of an audiophile, that same day, uh, Tuesday afternoon, it's on iTunes, Spotify, Google Podcasts, anywhere you can listen to it. Um, yeah, and and now, have you put it up on YouTube as well yet? Have you taken all those? It, it is on YouTube. Yeah. yeah, we you know for for us in particular, we don't get a lot of um, views on YouTube. That's a tough nut to crack. As you they- will though, you will just put them all up and keep it up. Yeah, yeah. It, it's it's the consistency and just like I've had shows life. where I've gotten you know five thousand views, and then I wow. get shows where I've got twelve. But yeah. it's just I don't know the rhyme or reason for it. It's just the way it is. Sure, but. but in the, the what I keep reminding myself, Greg, is it really doesn't matter. It will Mm-mm. all catch up, and I'm, I'm as long as I'm putting out a quality product and people are learning, it's great. And then, Correct. you know, the 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 iTunes and everything else complements it, and yeah. Facebook and LinkedIn and and putting it everywhere, and okay. uh, it really doesn't matter as long as it's filling you up. Well, and I think to your point with that, Brad, for anybody who's tuning in that way, if they're thinking about creating a podcast or they're a podcaster that's going through it, it, everybody focuses on the downloads and, you know, how many views and all these things. It it really, it really doesn't matter unless if you're a Joe Rogan or somebody who had, you know, multi-million sponsors, you know, big sponsors. That's not what it's about. It's about with connecting with your tribe, connecting with the people in your sphere and in your industry that really matter. And that's not everybody. No. You just need to be everything to a few, not everything to, to, so, you know, Greg, look at you. You're just spitting these out today, buddy. <laughs> Off the cuff right they here, need Brad. To just be everything to a few. <laughs> hey, you bring it out of me, Brad. So it, it's all you, my friend. I appreciate you. I love it. I love it. That's great. I appreciate you as well. And how can a listener get a hold of you if they'd like to enroll in? Well, I know there are many courses you said to go yep. online, but talk to us, tell us exactly how to get a hold of you if they need to. Yeah, please it, just visit alignboltmedia.com. That's L I O N B O L T media, M E D I A.com. Um, everything's in there from, you know, just a little bit about Real Estate Titans, our mini courses in there, all of our contact information, just a bunch of free resources in there. But you can follow us on Facebook uh, for Lionbolt Media or Real Estate Titans. Excellent. Uh, it's all in there. So, yeah, we'd love to help any way we can. I love it. Make sure you guys all tune in to him and uh, you will, he will spit pearls of wisdom every week and he does it live. He doesn't even realize when he's saying it. I'm going to have to just start texting him and say, dude, that was good. Oh, Look you're the best, Brad. You're too kind. You're too but kind. Hey guys, also don't forget to go to atrepodcast.com and download my five free videos on how to start being successful in real estate today. I want to see you thrive, not survive. So if you would also like a free coaching session with me, Go on to atrepodcast.com and you can schedule a free 30-minute coaching session with me as well. Greg Fowler, Real Estate Titans, you're amazing and it's been wonderful. Brad, it was an honor. I really appreciate your time. Thanks so much for having me. It was great having you.
And that's our show for today. I hope you enjoyed it. You know, many of my podcast listeners have become my coaching clients. If you'd like to be a coaching client, go to my website at www.atrepodcast.com and sign up for your free 30-minute coaching evaluation at www.atrepodcast.com. And as my dad would always say, have an attitude of gratitude.